and we are off on another adventure. We're going to North Carolina. North Carolina? I don't know why I have to say it like that. I always have to say it like that. So I've been home for a long time now. It was another unscheduled, well, this was more of a scheduled sort of thing. Uh, we had uh, fertility early in the week, and later on in the week we had more meetings and appointments, and while I was at home, we got a lot of work done. I wanted to be a little ways down the road already. Right, Daisy? It's just so much to do at home. I could probably spend another week at home. It's a little bit overwhelming. But we're making it by, but now I gotta go make some money. I gotta get on the road. I gotta go to work. You can't, you can't stay home. That doesn't profit anything. Can't keep getting projects and I'd love to take like two weeks off just to work on that house and yard just to get it nice you know but alas we're truckers right diesel so since I'm running a little bit behind here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the truck put diesel in it go and uh, I gotta go pick up a loaded trailer in Winnipeg just up the road here I'm gonna go pick up the loaded trailer then I'm gonna come back to the yard and then load up all my stuff into the truck because I need to get that load. I think that they close down there in like an hour. So I'm, a little, I'm cutting it a little bit close. Like I said, we need to get moving. And it's very lovely to see that all of our friends on the windshield waited for us this whole time. They're still there. That's dedication. They wanted to be a part of this. So I'm in Winnipeg on Elijah Modier Boulevard. I'm gonna go pick up a loaded trailer. Uh, I can stress out a little bit less now because uh, I thought I had to be there before one and it's already 12.45. I called up dad and he says he picks up there all the time and they have a drop box for our paperwork. So if they're gone already, they leave our paperwork in a little mail slot for us. So, uh, so I can still get it. It's not like I gotta wait till Monday to get my load then, right? I have an empty trailer, a big empty box behind me. I'm gonna drop the empty there and pick up the loaded. And start making our way down to Ohio. And then uh, we end off in North Carolina. I have 10 stops on this load. It's gonna be fun. I get paid for each stop, so that's okay with me. We now have our loaded trailer and we're headed back to the yard because we need to get some of the marker lights fixed on this trailer before we leave. Because somebody parked it there with not all the lights working. Or maybe it just sort of corroded and got old while it sat there, who knows. Maybe use the people moving it around the yard there. But yes, we have 10 stops on this load. We're starting off in Streetsboro, Ohio, ending off in uh, North Carolina. We got one stop even in Charleston, South Carolina. Got a stop in Virginia. We got a couple of stops in Pennsylvania. So it'll be an interesting week, that's for sure. Seeing some scenery we haven't seen in a couple of years. The legendary people of North Dakota are about to welcome us with this very nice blue sign. Welcome to North Dakota, legendary. From the taxpayers of North Dakota. Thank you. Thank you very much. I like your sign. It's a very nice shade of blue. So we do have 10 stops and at the border they were warning me to uh, make sure I'm stocked up on masks and gloves and a hand sanitizer because uh, I got 10 stops on the East Coast. I do have my mask with me. Most uh, or a lot of places already is mandatory. Even in Steinbach now, in my hometown, it's mandatory at Walmart. So everywhere I go, it's like it's like your wallet and your keys. You always have to have a mask everywhere you go now. But we'll be okay. We'll be okay. I refuse to live in fear. Okay, I, I will live in caution, and you know. I won't be dumb, but I'm not gonna live in a state of paralyzing fear. I'm gonna go about my life as ordinarily and normal as I can, and I'm not gonna worry about every little thing I do. I'm just, you know what I mean? I just, I, re 
refuse to live in fear. That's no life to have. Life is so short. You know, I'm 32. I've probably got, what, another 50 years? That sounds like a lot of years, but on the big scale of things, that's not that long. I don't got that. Life isn't that long. I'm not going to waste it hiding and shaking in a corner. And plus, I like nice stuff. And to get nice stuff, I got to work. emerges the Menominee rest area. Let's see if they got parking here for us. This guy's going around in there backwards. Wrong way, bud. Oh, he's turning around. Did he come in there? He came in the rest area backwards. This fancy little Ford Raptor pickup truck. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let's see. The sign... Continue on this road for 166 kilometers. I'm in a rest area, Karen. How big do you think this rest area is? Oh, there's a spot for us right up there. Right under the light. Nice. Very nice. Right up here in the back. In front of this guy with his fancy curtain side trailer. That's a fancy tarp job. Probably took him a while. All right, right in here. Actually, you know what? There's another one available right over there. No, I like this one. Just had to avoid that. Oh, never mind. Hit it anyway. I was just gonna avoid that pothole. Truck eating potholes. Truck destroying potholes. How about that? I'm just gonna parallel park myself in here like a boss. Oh, so I didn't have time to finish my laundry at home, so I got it hanging all over the truck here again to dry. Ugh. I'm tired and sore from this long, 
long week of working at home. So it's been nice to actually go back to work and relax, de-stress a little bit, just listen to some tunes and hold the steering wheel, stare out the window. Just like my teachers used to say that I would never, never be successful staring out the window. Proved them wrong, didn't I? Didn't we, Diesel? Didn't we? No one can see you. We'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, we've made it here to Menominee, Wisconsin. Made it just as far as I wanted to. Got a long, long day ahead of us tomorrow. So, uh, hope you join me. I'll need the company. It's going to be a good, stress-free day. Just rolling. We'll see you then.